In this tutorial, I'm going to show you an advanced masking technique, and this is going to be the second masking tutorial uh, for this set. And um, it's a really simple technique, but it can be very powerful in a lot of ways because um, you can really achieve a lot of different kind of effects with an image uh, with what I'm about to show you. And um, this technique you may or may not know. Um, there are a couple little hidden keystrokes in Photoshop that have to be applied in order for this effect to be rendered. So let's go ahead and get started here. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to unlock this background layer. So I'm just going to hold down my Alt key and then double click that and it turns it into a normal layer um, that can basically be used. So the other thing that I want you to make uh, make you aware of is your channels box here and when you go into channels uh, you're going to have your red, green, and blue um, if you have an RGB image. Now uh, for this particular effect um, I want something that has um, high contrast meaning that there's a lot of white and there's a lot of black so it looks to me as if my green channel um, has exactly what I'm looking for so I'm going to take my green channel and I'm going to drag it down here to this little extra layer and it's going to make a copy of this particular layer now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rectangle marquee tool and being inside of the channels now I can actually copy this channel so I'm gonna hit control C on my keyboard and if you are on a Mac that's going to be a command and then you're going to then come to your layer here and when I click on it it's going to switch back over to my um, full set of colors um, having the RGB values all um, set here and you can see this green one this extra one is no longer highlighted so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, and there's multiple ways to do this but this is the quickest visual way I can show you to do it then you're gonna come in here you're gonna add a layer mask now what we've done is we've added a, a blank layer mask and with that mask being white um, it'll actually reveal everything but if I was to take my paintbrush for example and start painting um, black on top of this you can see that it basically erases it out and you can see that background in the back there and so I'm going to undo that control Z to quickly undo now remember I did make a copy of my channel so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy that channel right into um, my mask that I have here so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to hold down my alt key and when I hold down my alt key and click on this it actually goes into my mask mode so now anything that I paint on this window here is actually painting it out of my actual document so if I switch back over here you'll see that I now have that same effect that I had before and you can see the same black and white mask if I go to my channels menu in my channels you can now see that there's this layer mask here I can go ahead and get rid of my green uh, channel that I made there and leave my layer mask now in order to get that layer mask back in here I'm going to just um, undo that for just a moment I'm going to just click back to my photo and you can see that kind of mess that I made and I'm going to hit control alt Z to go back just a few steps there and then what I'm I want to actually paste that that channel that I had copied so once again I'm gonna hold down alt I'm gonna click on this white mask I'm now in mask mode and I can hit control V now what I've done is I've literally pasted that channel that black and white channel in to my mask now when I go back to that you'll see that actually all those values um, all the dark tones are completely invisible the gray areas are not quite as invisible and then the lighter areas like this white background here the skin tones are still showing through so um, that can be really powerful in a lot of ways and let me show you when I go ahead and add a blank layer down here I'm gonna hold down alt delete and I'm gonna fill 
that background layer with solid black. Now you can see it's given this image a very dramatic look and that's because actually a lot of this image is actually very transparent and so what you're seeing is the black is filling in all the transparencies. Now if I wanted to I could come back over here and, s and click on my mask here and then use my paintbrush and then continue painting in or fixing up uh, the rest of this image. So I'm going to move this down to around 30 percent and then I'm going to maybe make the diameter a little bit bigger here. There we go. And we have a softer brush and I'm going to also change the opacity down just to not make it too much there. And then I could actually very softly paint back in the rest of the skin tones. Make sure that this is on white and then go ahead and paint over top of that image and you can actually start to bring back um, some of those areas and you know again this is just a really quick easy effect if you really want to grab um, a, a lot of attention and a lot of direction um, in one of your photographs uh, you can very easily mask a lot of it out fill the background with a certain color and then you know it really brings a lot of attention right to this area um, in particular so um, it's a very dramatic effect and you can experiment with it um, you can use uh, you don't have to use solid black when you're painting um, continue to paint in the mask this can actually be turned to gray so you can get even uh, more subtle with how you paint um, or or unpaint your image here um, so again it's just a simple act of um, using your alt key clicking on this mode here and then you can see that you've now gone into your uh, mask mode um, which is also here which is your layer mask so um, there you have it that's an advanced technique that you can uh, try out there in Photoshop so um, have fun with it and we'll see you in the next tutorial